Get this, Patriots are off to a one and four start, Shady, for the first time since the turn of the century. Bill Belichick's first season in New England, that was 2000, last time they started one and four. I'm shocked at how bad the Patriots are. Mm. Ooh, one and four. Mm. We haven't seen it. I know Bill Belichick without Tom Brady is not the Bill Belichick that everybody proclaimed to be the greatest coach of all time, but one and four is a bad coach. Yeah. We've always said Bill Belichick is an average coach without Tom Brady. Okay. One and four, two, five ain't average. Yeah. It's atrocious. Mm. So break it down for me. Should all the blame be on Bill Belichick? Yes, I I'm going with that. I mean, I've been saying this for, for, for what, years now? Yep. That it has to be Bill Belichick. When you look at the, the, the Patriots from all the great times they had, great years they had, you know, you, you talk about Tom Brady, but a lot of that they, they give to Belichick. Mm. But then when you break it down, when Tom leaves, right, he goes to the championship with the, with the Bucks, and you're still there in New England, I don't see it. Mm. I, like, when I watch this team, I, there's, there's nothing about, about them that, that talks about the pra Patriot way. You know, you always hear about that, the Patriot way? No doubt. They're tough on defense. I can't tell. They're getting smoked every week. Mm. Development. Mm. Development. You talk mm. about the quarterbacks and the players. I don't see no development. Mm. Mac Jones, mm. first of all, you play with his confidence, sitting him, starting him, sitting mm. him, starting him. Now he's just starting quarterback. I mean, I don't see him getting better. Mm -hmm. I don't see no growth. Let's talk about the money, though, right? Because on teams, you got to pay your players. Now, when they had Tom Brady, they wasn't paying all these guys on defense. Yeah. If you don't want to sign this contract we, we got for you, you, you can get your bags and get out of there. Yep. Now it's changed. I mean, if we look at this right now, they spent the 11th most on defense. Still getting smoked. On who? They spent the, the 27th on offense. Mm. So you're not spending on real money on offense, which you don't get that much production. But I guess that back then you could do that because you were, you were developing these players. You don't see it no more. A Julian Elliman, who was a hell of a wide receiver, you see him get better and better and better. You didn't think that he would be that when he came into the league. And I don't... Tom. Tom Brady's another exactly. one. So when you keep going to all these positions, you see them get better. Now when I see them, I don't see that. And what I do see, that they went from the top team in the AFC East, then they're at the bottom. Mm. And they're going to stay there until they make some moves. Ooh. It's time for Bill to go. Oh. I'll say it. I said it. I'm with you on that one, Joy. Should all the blame <laughs> be on Belichick? Yeah, it has to be because he has all the power. Mm-hmm. He got all the power. With well, great well, power well. Yeah, comes did. great responsibility. Mm. Is, is that in the Batman movie? Mm. Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I think when you're the GM and coach, when you have the kind of power that we know what Bill Belichick has within that organization, you also have to take all the blame if it doesn't go well. And it's, it's going bad. It's going bad, bad. It's getting worse, actually. It is. It is. And it is getting worse. You can track the decisions that he made around this team since Brady left, and it almost completely aligns with where they are right now. Mm. Remember, they didn't have an offensive coordinator last year. They were doing some weird thing they that nobody understood. Oh, they no, they had two of them. Patricia. Def the defensive uh, coordinator yeah. went no to the offense. That's right. That's if right you got here. two, you ain't got one. <laughs> yeah, of, right. like, of like anything, up, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's generally how it works. <laughs> so so that's, that's done at his development as well. Nobody else can understand what they were doing, but they, they got it figured out, though. No one's going to question it because it's Bill Belichick and the Patriots, and how, how can you? You have to put the blame at his feet. This is a disaster. This, like you said, it's, just, it's getting worse. It mm. looks bad, and he doesn't look like an average coach. He looks like a bad coach Correct. right now. Correct. And it's not just coaching. It's how you've assembled this team. We knew that this wasn't an overly talented team going into the season. I, mean, I, I picked them to win this weekend. I'm like, oh, come on. Like, right. I think the Saints are a better team, but they're at home. They're going to get beat again. <clears throat> again? <clears throat> what is happening? They're last in scoring offense, averaging 11 points per game. 11? 11? Y'all can't, can't score two touchdowns? <clears throat> two? <clears throat> two? They're tied for total for fewest touchdowns with six touchdowns. Mm, that ain't gonna win. On the season! Yeah. We played five games! Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, and that's just the offensive side of the ball. They're 25th in scoring defense, they're 26th in rush defense. Mm. It's bad all around, and it is, I, I, I did not think I would get there this soon. Oh. Oh. But it, it, it's, there. because here's, the, here's my issue with it, and then, sorry James, no, but, but right. this, is, this is my issue with it. <laughs> I don't like watching greats go out like this. Mm. And, and you has six Super Bowl rings. Yes, he, does. he was the coach of a di of what we consider to be a dynasty for 20 years. We may never see that again. Even as great as the Chiefs are and what they're building, 20 years of being the team that we expect to be in or around the Super Bowl every single year, to be what? What is that? Like, what are we watching here? And it it, it actually pains me as as someone who loves this game 
and wants to remember certain things a certain way, like you're messing it up. You're messing up my memories, man. Well, like Shady said, it ain't gonna get no better if he's in, in New England. So it's gonna keep going downhill like this and he's gonna continue to look like a bad, bad football coach. Yeah. But I just wanna touch on a lot of it. You are the head coach and you are the GM. Yes, sir. Right? You, it's a lot of players that leave New England and if they get cut, released, whatever, Bill say, come on back home. Right? That, that's Bill. That don't happen anywhere else. That's because you're the head coach and you're the GM. I get what I want. You drafted Mac Jones. His rookie year, he had a really good year. Everybody was looking at Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniels like, dang, y'all knew he was going to be the best quarterback in the one. draft. Mm -hmm. yep. Got another one. Now, it, now he's is the worst quarterback out of that draft, and I believe it's because of you. The development you gave us me. Josh McDaniels leaves, you give him two offensive coordinators, right, and a defensive-minded coach calling the plays? Mm -hmm. How are the young fellas supposed to get better? And then, like Shady said, and then you're taking him out, benching him for Bailey Zappi. Is here to, like, come on, what are we talking about? So he's gotten worse. The defense has gotten worse. Last week against the Cowboys, you scored three points. It was your worst loss ever. This week, you say, you know what? We could do better than that. They went from zero. <laughs> <laughs> they went from three to zero. He said, and, oh, my bad. And gave up 34 points. Mm -mm. Like, it don't get no worse than that. I understand six-time Super Bowl championship coach. I understand all the things he's accomplished. But at one point, you got to go up to a man and you say, hey, man, Shady, I appreciate everything you've done for me, mm -hmm. bro. But, hey, that's if that I, in the road. If, hey. Hey, if, Thanks I, for everything. if, I, see, if I see you in the drive through at McDonald's or Starbucks, it's on me. It's on me. But right now, this here, yeah, right. <laughs> this, at the end of this year, it's, it's over. It's got to be. It got to be. On Friday, or maybe it was Thursday, I said there are three fundamentals to coaching in my mind. Three fundamentals to coaching. Can you manage your side of the ball, number one? Yeah. Number two, can you manage people? And number three, can you maximize potential? Joy said it. The Patriots are 25th in total defense. Bill Belichick is not managing his side of the ball. He's supposed to be a defensive mind. Number two, can you manage people? Well, Matt Jones' rookie year, his offensive coordinator was Josh McDaniels. McDaniels leaves us fine. He goes and becomes a head coach. But then a sophomore year, his offensive coordinator was Joe Judge. Joe Judge was a former special teams coach for the Patriots who went to become the Giants head coach before flaming out. Now this year, Matt Jones' third year, he has a new offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien, who left the University of Alabama after leaving the Houston Texans as a head coach, Alabama OC, and now you're back in the NFL. He's not managing people, he's not managing his side of the ball, and he's not maximizing potential because Matt Jones is getting worse, not getting better. Yeah. Bill Belichick is not a good head coach. He's not a formerly great head coach. He's just a bad head coach right now. You got to remove the former accolades, remove the former titles. Interestingly enough, Joy, I don't know if this makes me an evil person, but I disagree that, like, I like what we're seeing now because mm. I like knowing the truth. Ooh. Ooh. I like knowing the truth. So this is who he is, is what you said. As a head coach without Tom Brady. Ooh. As a defensive mind, Bill Belichick is the greatest mm. defensive mind the game of football has ever seen. I study the defenses from every era and every personnel. Defensive mind, he's the greatest. But as a head coach, he's just not that good. And I love the truth because we rarely get it in life. Mm. So often in life, we have to hypothesize. Mm. What if mm. you put Dak Prescott on another team? Oh, man. What if Matthew Stafford was a quarterback for the Cowboys? Would mm. they have won the Super Bowl? What Ooh. if Drew Brees would have went to the Miami Dolphins? What if? Mm. We always have to play these what-if games. We almost had to play that with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Mm. And what if Tom Brady and Belichick never? Oh, but then we got the answer. Right. Tom Brady left, and he won a ring. Yeah. Bill Belichick lost Tom Brady, and he's been atrocious ever since. He was average. Now he's substantially below average. Mm. So I actually like this because we're learning the truth of Belichick, the head coach. Defensive mind, to me, still the greatest. I don't care. The truth of the head coach, he just ain't good. Mm. He's not good. But, well, this, but this is why I wish it had ended before we got here, because I can't erase all those years that I saw. Not. And Brady w didn't walk into the league as the greatest of all time. He also developed over mm -hmm. time as well. So we're now just pa we're painting with a broad stroke everything that Belichick has done. Like you're saying, he's, we're seeing now he's not a good coach. Well, how isn't he messing it up for everyone for all those other years? I think there's, there's nuance to it. I think the game has changed. I think how he managed things when he had Brady in the building, he's now trying to do without Brady, and it doesn't work. But he hasn't adjusted to that. But isn't I think that, that coaching? I think, I think right. that, that to me is coaching. Because, 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 because who, who, who um, um, developed Brady? 
That's a, you got to ask no question. question. Like, it, was, it couldn't have been Belichick. No, but he, how did it not all fall apart for all those years? If he's this yeah. bad for all those years, Brady didn't walk into the league like that. But remember, he was one in three when Brady was on the I, team. I hear yeah. you. Like, he I was bad you. when Brady I was there. I hear you. I hear and all them defensive years is, they had, they had all them Hall of Fame players on defense. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to defend Bill Belichick today. Hope what not. I'm saying is, I, I'm not. I'm not. What, what, what really actually bothers me the most about what's happening with Bill Belichick is the fact that he is also the GM because there's nowhere else to put it. Yeah. And, and what I don't like about when any time that a, a coach does this takes on too much power, you saw Bill O'Brien do this with the Texans and it, it, it pretty much ended the same way, it just ended a lot quicker. You don't have somebody to push back on you. It always sounds nice to have all the power and have all the say. It's me, it's me, it's my choice, you do this, you do that. You don't have anybody saying, hey, I, I hear you, but what about this? Or what about since you're coaching, I'm focusing on building the roster and worrying about who we should pay next year and, and getting with the scouts and working on bringing in new players and what fits our scheme. You need that team. And people who don't delegate, who want all the power for themselves, often end up in these situations because when it goes bad, there's no one else to blame. And that's what bothers me about what's happening in New England well, right now. Well, only thing I'm going to say is I disagree because all the best coaches in the league, they do that. They all have the power. Let's talk about them. Andy Reid. And they went with Sean, Les. Um, Sean, Sean, um, 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 McVay. Sean McVay. Come on. They pick who they want. Cal we want him. We want Cal Shanahan. All the top coaches. They don't coaches. have GMs. But they got the say. They got the say. They got GMs. Yeah. But you know, like, who calling that? You know who calling that? Right. They might have the final say, but those guys aren't just, Man. like, suits. What I'm saying is, when, when Brett Veach, who I just talked to this weekend, when, he, when he's picking players, he's a really, really good GM. Him and Andy Reid doing that together. You like him? You think, how you feel about him? Okay. Yeah, they're doing that, but they're doing that together. I'm a, I'm a, but they got, I mean, Andy but I feel like they got the... Andy what Veach says? Andy Reid gonna pick who he want. He, he gonna pick who he want. Brett Veach definitely runs the show, but it's more of like, hey, hey, big fella. But it's a we going with him? Saying, it's a we going with her? We going with... It's a collaboration. But when you I just see... think when you're that big, a lot of them coaches, I just, from, from just being around them, they, they pick who they want. I want him to be my quarterback, right? Hey, coach, we need, we need to get this quarterback. We need to get him. We need to get him. We need to get him. We need to get him? Okay, let's look at it. Then it's the conversation, then let's go get Beach, him. But when Beach you see things like wanted this, wanted Mahomes. Yeah. Right. And he right. talked with, with Andy Reid, and, we, and, and Andy Reid respected what he said so yeah. much that they ended up getting Mahomes. They got it. Now, he wanted him, but he had to, but he had I, to be I'm presented say, with if, that. If he didn't want Mahomes, they wouldn't have got Mahomes. They wouldn't have got Mahomes. Yeah, but when you see things like this, though, it starts raising questions about everything. True. You, you know, like, you saying greatest defense of mine, but... They playing up in every game with Tom, too. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Just like the Niners' defense is elite, but they playing up in a lot of games, mm -hmm. too, with leads, too. So that's going to help your defense out, knowing that offense has got to be one-dimensional, messing around with close Tom to Brady. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so it's so many questions. Is he that? And then when you see other coaches win with so much less. Correct. Like Pete Look Carroll wins with so many different about, quarterbacks. What Tomlin do this weekend? Tomlin. Yeah, what Tomlin do this weekend? Then, uh, then, what then, Tomlin do this weekend? Then when you just, I mean, we just seen it Sunday night. You're talking about Jimmy Garoppolo, whoever quarterback, Matt Schaub, whoever whatever quarterback Kyle Shanahan got, they ball. So for me, it's questions about everything with Bill strictly on how it's going right now. And it's not getting better. You're not developing dudes. All the at rookies all. you drafting, they're not getting better. They're not developing. You, you were supposed to be the greatest at that. You know, so it's a lot of questions when you start losing, especially losing this bad, and you've been losing this much ever since the greatest quarterback of all time has left you. Right. Right? It and also and I'm, it I agree help. with you. I agree with you, Acho. We, we, got, we got the truth. Because for a minute, it was yeah. Brady ain't that good. Yeah. Everybody had to argue, and it's B. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the system. 100%. And, you know, another thing is, another thing we talked about, the, the, the development and growth, they, the, if you look at the, 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 the track record of the Patriots, they always ain't been super talented. Yeah. Even when they were the best, they weren't super talented. Nope. It was like, oh, it got to be the Patriots way. Them dudes ain't that great. He get low, low drafted players, and they, they become stars. Mm -hmm. Now what? I don't, get, I don't give him no pass. Tom, I'm Asa Asante Samuels was one of the best defensive players I played with, mm -hmm. right? And you can look at his track record. He would say this all the time. I'm like, you know what? I always thought that, but, like, you played with him. Oh. Is it real? He said, listen, Bill, get up in there with Tom Brady. He make you think everything that Bill's saying is right. No, brother. We got Tom Brady, <laughs> right? And you just the head coach. Now that Tom is going with, with the WNBA, he's doing all this other stuff, mm -hmm. we see who he really is. I mean, 35 to 3. And then 34 nuggets yeah. in the National it's, Football it's, League, it's, and you are labeled the greatest coach of all that, time. It's literally getting worse. That can't That's happen. crazy. It can't happen. That's crazy. Well, there are other drama in the coaching world because the Broncos and Sean Payton, Ugh. they are also one Ooh. and four. And they just lost to what we thought was one of the worst teams in football in the Jets.
Is the Russell Wilson, Sean Payton duo coming to an end? Is it even salvageable at this point? Y'all got to come back to hear this conversation. It is getting ugly. Next on. I mean, is Sean Payton in the same boat? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.